Hey, welcome to the tutorial for my extra life donation tracker. And uh, some things have changed since the last video. So um, here's an updated tutorial. So first of all, you're going to go to my URL, github.com slash DJ Otaku slash EL donation tracker. I'll have that in the video information at the bottom. And then what you want to do is come over here to releases. And uh, you always want to get the latest release. Here's all the different releases I've done recently. So um, I might have some information here on how you can use the latest release or any changes that have happened since last time. But what you want to do is come here to where it says extra life donation tracker for windows. Click on that. And you can see right here that it's saving it to my computer. All right, I'm going to open that folder. All right, here it is. Uh, for ease of this tutorial, I'm going to drag it over to my desktop and I'm going to unzip it and I'll show the extracted files when I'm done. You don't have to do that, but just so I don't have to find it. Not that I have an extremely crazy set of icons here, but you might, so this might make it easier for you. <laughs> All right, so you want to double click here into Windows Build. I'm going to shrink this. And you just want to scroll down to see GUI. Double click on GUI. Uh, so if this happens, run anyway. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to close this. Well, yeah, I'm just going to close this. So here's the donation tracker. And then here on this little command line window, it's going to show any errors or anything like that. So it could be useful when you first run. This is kind of not that useful because it's just letting you know that you don't have any settings set yet. So you're going to click here on settings and you want to enter your participant ID. Here's where you get it from in case you don't know. Uh, so I'm going to go to mine. Okay, so right here that's what you want to copy in. That's your participant. See right here at the end of the URL, it says and or ampersand participant ID equals. And if you're part of a team, your team will be here. So you can open that up and there's your team ID, team ID equals. So you just want to copy that number. So um, mine are already filled out um, because uh, I fill it out while I'm testing the software. So you want to do that. Um, once you've set those, the next thing you want to do is change the text folder. This is where it's going to change the text files that will be used in OBS or XSplit. So click on select folder. Um, just again, for ease of this tutorial, I'm just going to put it in the same place. The same place where I opened up the zip file. Um, um, you probably don't want to do that because um, if you have to get a new version um, it's going to overwrite that when you, or not overwrite, but you're going to not be in, in the same place, the same folder, right? When you unzip a new file. So you probably want to put it somewhere at your desktop, your, my document, somewhere that makes sense. But anyway, I'm going to put it here for the tutorial. So I'm going to call this some text files. Then I'll hit select folder. And then the last thing you want to do is, um, well, there's two more things you can do here for tracker image. Um, I've, I've included the engineer from um, Team Fortress. Now, what I want to show you something about that. Um, let's open it up in Photoshop. You don't have to do this. I just want to show you something. So you see how everything behind here is a checkerboard pattern? That's because this is a PNG file with a transparent background. This is going to work best um, if you want to replace this with any other image. You want something that has a transparent background. Usually that's a PNG file, not a JPEG. Um, and that's going to allow it to show up over whatever game you're playing. And I'll show you um, what that looks like in a little bit. So anyway, you can change that picture if you want, or you can use that picture. 
but what you do, so that one works fine, but this one does need to be changed here, the donation sound. Now I've included one, it's um, my daughter saying that you have a donation, but you have to select it. So you just wanna go into your Windows build, and it's right there, hit open. All right, everything's good now, now you can hit save, okay? That's your first step of what you wanna do. So just to review, put your participant ID, your team ID, if you have one, if not, just make that blank. Uh, you want to select your text folder where it's going to save the text files and you want to pick the, the donation sound. You can change the tracker image. You don't have to. You hit save when you're done. You exit out. All right. So the next, well, let me just show you one quick thing here. So the tracker, this is what the engineer is about. So now you got a donation. So there you go. That's what that's going to sound like when you do get a donation. All right. So now what you need to do is hit run you'll see here that it says starting thread you'll see here uh, the time that it started and every uh, about 30 seconds it'll hit the api and grab stuff and now you see over here it's got all the data it's got um, the total amount raised how many donations i've got my goal my average donation size the last donation the top donation the most recent then down here, it's got all my team information. It's got the team captain, the goal, the total amount raised. So 19,114, and we can double check that that's right. Uh, 115, okay, so that's rounding up because you see an 82 cents out of 485 donations. Um, here's all the um, top donors for that team and the top participant. So if you were to go over here, this is the folder we created in the settings file. Here's a whole bunch of text files. And for example, if I open that one up, those are all the donors, their name, how much they donated, and if they had a message, right? So this is the message I put. These people didn't have any messages. And now I'll show you how to use that. So let's come over to my infinite wall of OBS. So what I'm going to do here to, in the past when I've done these videos, this infinite OBS has made it a little bit harder to see exactly what's going on. So I'm going to make use of studio mode here. And we're going to add stuff to this black screen. Although actually, rather than a black screen, let's make it, um, let's make it an orange screen yellowish screen yeah sure why not so we'll do that and you'll see the point of that in a minute all right so to this we're gonna add from those text files over there so let's say you want to have a scrolling view of the top five part, the top five donors so you would go here to text and we'll say top five donors uh, so scroll We'll read from the file, all right? And we'll go over here, all right? We'll go to your, de uh, my desktop. Just build, text files, all right. We wanted the, uh, top, let's see. Did I put top, top five donors? Um, let's say last, last five donors. All right, so there's that. Just for sake of uh, accuracy, let's call this last five donors. All right, so we've got this here. I'm gonna stretch it over to the to the end, right? And you're gonna go to filters, add a filter, and you're going to pick scroll do some horizontal scrolling All right and so that's what that looks like um, let me come back over here for a second just to make it easier to read let's change the color to a dark blue and Let's make it a larger font. Let's make it uh, 72. All right, 
There we go. All right, so there's that. <coughs> See it scrolling across. Now, let's say you wanna show your top Team donors. So we'll come back over here, and we'll do. But this time we're not going to scroll. We're just going to have a vertical list. So we'll do top team donors. We'll read that from the file. We'll go here to top team top five participants. There they are. We will change the color to darker, eh, purple, purple's fine. Uh, we'll make the font huge because we wanna see in this demo. All right, and I'll switch that over. You can see what that looks like, all right. All right, and so one, oh, one last thing that you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna want to have this tracker so that when someone donates, you can thank them for donating. Uh, and this will automatically grab whichever was the last donation, as you'll see in a minute. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a window capture. We'll call this tracker. So the important thing about the window tracker is that it means before you start OBS, you need to come over here and open up tracker. So you need to launch the GUI Click on tracker so you have a tracker on the bottom, and then start up OBS. Otherwise, it's going to show your your um, this window instead of this window. All right, so coming back over here, I'm going to do tracker. Okay, and okay, so here's the tracker here. What we want to do here is do a filter, and we want to add. A chroma key boom now it's gone because it's automatically expecting a green screen and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click over here where it says test alert and you're gonna see what so just to show you what happens you got here, a donation so here's what it's gonna look like on your screen you got a donation oops now what I actually wanted to do was go there there we go one more time. You got a donation. So now you can see why it's important for the background of the PNG file to be transparent so that whatever's behind it still shows. Otherwise, you'll have a little square or rectangle there for the image that you pick. All right, so those are the basics. That's what you need to know. And, and this thing, let me come back to my uh, window over here. And you'll see all of these um, donations happening over here. I mean, uh, sorry, all these checks against the um, the API. If you look here, it's about every um, 30 seconds, roughly. And so every 30 seconds, if you have a new donation, you're going to get this alert. You got a donation. Instead of showing David Kendra and Kyra, it'll be whoever your last donation is. It should match whatever's here. Um, and that's all you need to know in order to use this software on Windows. And um, the same thing that I did here on OBS, you could do on XSplit using their um, their systems and whatever, however it is that you can show text on XSplit. And maybe I'll do a video that does that at some point. So, all right, just a few more quick things. And that is back over here at my GitHub page. If you end up having any issues, something doesn't work for you, and you've followed all the instructions on the video, just come up here to issues, and you can fill out an issue. These here that, um, <laughs> that I filled out, these are the things that I plan to improve um, as as time goes on but um, there are some here that other people have opened up um, here someone wanted uh, team support um, and here someone had an error so uh, if you have any 
anything you want me to fix, just come over there and I can try and fix it and get out a new version so that everyone can use the new working version. So I hope you find that helpful. And um, I hope that um, it helps your extra life game day work um, really well. And if you enjoy the software, it's not a requirement, but feel free to come over here and donate to my campaign any amount. You don't have to, but you know, you can if you find it useful. Um, also, if you um, forget how to use it, I've got instructions here that, um, that you can follow. So, all right, thanks for watching. Bye.